Welcome to practice. We're going to begin seated today. And I was just reflecting on the yoga habit that I have. <laughs> nice habit to get into. So when I sit on my mat or stand ready to practice, nothing else is important in that moment. Just the practice. So finding your seat, feel your sit bones, your legs, the parts of your body that are grounded, and let your spine lengthen. Gather all those energies that you send out to other people, other things, to yourself. Feeling you're part of this wonderful whole. Finding your breath. And we're going to start making little circles with the top of the head by moving the whole spine around, and moving around the center of the sick bones. Doesn't have to be a very big movement. And stay tuned in to your breathing. the shoulders being relaxed, the neck feeling relaxed and balanced, and then the other direction, you feel the muscles of your lower back, your abdomen, core of the body. Tensing and relaxing as the movement shifts. But feeling the stable nature of the core of your body. And back to center. Long spine. Feeling imbued with the breath. And then we're just going to lean now the spine side to side. And at first, keep the trunk of the body um, like a pendulum, so straight spine. And you might notice the weight shifting from sit bone to sit bone. Look how far you can comfortably move with that intention of a straight spine. Good, and then begin to bend the spine. Be willing to give in to the movement. Feeling what is easeful in that movement from side to side. How far do you feel it's good to stretch? To make it stronger if you like, take the opposite hand over here. You might use your inhale to come up and your exhale to reach to the side. Back to center, feeling that flow of breath. 
and along. Beautiful. We're going to come up to standing. You might try doing that without using your hands or use your hands. <laughs> Mm. Let's go from side to side again. So we'll have the feet under the hip, feet parallel. And at first, just move the spine so that it, the spine stays straight. And you'll feel there's a shift of weight inside the spine. And then really let the spine just find whatever shape or curvy shape. But we're also aware that the core muscles are supporting that movement so that there's a healthy feeling to the movement. Good. And you can make it stronger if you like, taking the arms over or the opposite arm. If I'm bending right, my left arm goes near my left ear. No need to overdo this. We're aware of the stability of the core. Coming back up to center. Shoulders up to the ears. Relax down. Shoulders up to the ears. Relax the shoulder blades. Down and back. Again. We're going to forward bend. Let's forward bend halfway so that you can still look forward and keep your back feeling relaxed at ease and see how your legs feel at this point in your practice so you can start to straighten your legs. Maybe one at a time, maybe both together, but keep the skin of the spine feeling relaxed. We'll look forward. Keep your weight forward a little into the front of the feet. Feel the flow of your breath. Do it and we'll roll up. Great. And again with your forward bend and you can stick with that halfway one if you know you need to pay particular care for your back. Mm, or you can Hang the torso forward a little bit more, but do keep the skin up over the spine, especially your lower back, nice and relaxed, not tight. Good, and we'll straighten the legs again. Mm, good, and rolling up. We're going to do one more, and just go as far as you can keep your spine easeful, but give your legs. A nice big stretch. So you might have your hands on the floor this time. Mm. If you're easily reaching the floor, try that back of the hands under the feet, palms up. So wrists forward, fingers back. And you can put your toes right up into the balls of the hands or the near the wrists. Mm. I suppose that's the heels of the hands. <laughs> Mm. straightening watch out for that sensation of the skin over the spine tightening so bend your knees if you need to try to ease the spine mm. stretch your legs find your breath good and then releasing and rolling up and arms up nice we're going to hold the elbows and reach up with the elbows. So feeling the sides of the waist long. Let's remind ourselves of that movement, the sideways movement. Feeling the stable core of the body as you reach from side to side. Mm, neck nice and relaxed. Ah, enjoying connecting to your breath. Beautiful. Come back to centre. Try to keep that length in the sides of your uh, waist and come back into a forward bend. 
Mm, reach your elbows forward. Some people uh, move so that their elbows are reaching down to the floor. But either way, keep length in the sides of your waist. Okay, keep easeful feeling over the spine or along the spine. And we're going to um, swing the torso here from side to side. Um, you might like to follow the rhythm of your breathing. Or just be aware of the rhythm of your breath and move at a pace that feels enjoyable. Mm, keep your neck relaxed. Swap the cross of your arms, holding the other elbow, mm, or the other way, <laughs> other arm on top. Mm. Good, and let yourself center, just reaching the elbows forward for a moment, and then rolling up. Good, and arms all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Oh, really lengthen the sides of the waist. And Tadasana. Mm, beautiful. Now we're going to step forward and back on the mat. So if you find that the seat of a chair is useful, so you don't have to um, strain to reach the floor, then use the seat of the chair facing you as the floor. Tadasana. Urdhva Hastasana. Arms up. Look up. Tadasana, standing forward bend, hands onto your support chair or floor, left foot back. Good, press your back heel down to the floor. Bend your front leg and look forward. Find that softer skin over your back, the easeful spine. We're going to try and stretch the front leg, so begin to straighten. Pay attention to that big feeling of resistance and breathe. Hmm. And sometimes just acknowledging that that is a difficulty in the body is enough to find a little more room to move. So strong legs, lift the kneecaps. Good, and we're going to stand up and swing the left leg forward, one smooth movement, see how you go balance. So you can balance with your hands at your heart and your left tiptoes on the floor in front, or lifting your leg, or holding your knee or your foot. But let the spine lengthen and have that feeling of graceful ease in your spine we've been working on without even really thinking about it, just feeling it. Good, and then release that side. And then inhale, arms up, look up. Uttanasana. Mm. Good. Ease in your spine and step your right foot back. Press the heel down. The, back, uh, the right heel down. Good. So the front leg is a little bit bent so we can find that easier feeling for the spine. We're trying not to make the skin tight. Lift the breastbone, look forward. Good. And then begin to straighten the left leg. Really inhabit that leg and the resistance of that movement. Just letting it be. And maybe you can find a little more length or opening there or just feeling a little easier. Lifting your kneecaps, quadriceps, good. And then we're going to lift up, step forward, balance on the left leg. <laughs> nice work. However you're balancing, might be hands in front of the heart, tiptoes at the floor. Or you might be lifting your leg higher or even holding your knee or your foot. 
and finding that ease in your spine, your neck, enjoying being connected to your breath. Good, and then we'll release that up. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, Uttanasana. Mm. Good. We'll take the left leg back. Press the heel down. Mm. Find soft skin over your spine. Like those, I, I wriggle around to do that. Mm. And then see how you go getting your front leg straighter. Mm. All right. Now what we're going to do now is stand into the front foot and lift the left leg, the one that's behind you, up behind you. Okay, so we stay uh, bending forward. Left leg lifts. Try to bring your hips so that they stay level to the floor. And we lift the pelvic floor higher into the core of the body. Good. Lift the heel. Look forward and relax your spine and your neck. Mm. Good. And then from here, we're going to stand up, swing the left leg in front and balance again on the right foot. Mm. Good. Taking your balance hold, whatever feels like a stage you'd like to work at. Without losing that feeling of ease in your spine. Good. And then releasing that side. Mm. Tuned into your breath. Urdhvahastasana, Uttanasana. Mm. Good, easy spine, nice. Step the right foot back, press the heel down. Good. See how you go straightening your front leg. Mm. Relax the skin of the spine. Good. Now we're going to uh, balance on the left foot, but the right leg's going to lift up behind. So put your hands down on your support. Under the shoulders works easiest for the back. Good. So we'll lift the right leg behind. The hips stay level to the floor. Lift the heel high. Look forward. Breathing deeply. Feel that lifting of the pelvic floor towards the belly button or towards the meat of the body. Mm. Good. Now we're going to lift up, swing the right leg in front and balance onto the left leg. And you can do that in a smooth movement. <laughs> as smooth as you can, even if it's a few smooth movements. Good. Finding your balance now on your left leg, holding your right foot in front or you might have your toes on the floor, you might hold your knee, you might hold your foot. Whichever balance, find that easeful grace in the spine. Connect it to your breath. Good. And then releasing that side. And for Trikonathana now, we'll start at the front of the mat in Tadasana, Urdhvahastasana, Uttanasana. Step the left foot back for Trikonathana, for triangle pose. So that means your feet are your own leg length distance apart. Your right heel lines up with the center of the left foot in an arch, and we straighten the leg. You're going to hold your right hand onto your right leg wherever it's a comfortable reach. Take your left hand onto your left hip and start to open the front of the body upward towards the ceiling, towards the sky. The left hip rolls back. Left ribs roll back. 
Good. And when you feel ready, take your left arm up. Lengthen the sides of the waist. See if you can find that easeful feeling along the spine. The skin relax. The legs getting strong. Nice work. We're going to lift up from there. Lift the torso. Nice. Take your left hand down onto your left leg and your right arm up. And lean back. Mm, draw the shoulder blades down. Following your breath. Good. And we're going to windmill the arms back to the front of the mat. We're going to uh, turn the feet to face the front, short front of the mat and step forward, lift up and balance. One smooth movement. Good. Take your balance hold on that side. And wherever you're holding, whether your tiptoes are on the floor or you're holding your knee or your foot, we want to take the left knee out to the left side this time. Can you relax? the skin of the spine, feel that graceful lift of the spine. Good, and release back to centre. Kadasana. Mountain. Urvahasasana. And Uttanasana. Hmm. Nice. We're going to do a big step back with the right foot for Trikonasana, triangle pose. So your feet are your own leg length distance apart. The left heel lines up with the right foot in the arch. And we start to straighten the leg. <laughs> hmm. Good. Left hand wherever it reaches onto the left leg. Right hand onto the right hip. And start to let that body really open, the front of the body open towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Right hip rolls back, shoulder blades reach towards your back waist. Ah, take the right arm up. Feel the skin that covers your back. Can you let it be more relaxed? But lengthen. Mm, pressing the feet. Strong legs. Mm. Feeling the support of the whole core of the body. Lift your torso. Right hand onto your right leg. Left arm lift up. Look up. Reaching down the right leg. Mm, beautiful. Windmill both arms back to that front foot, left foot. Turn to face that direction so that you can step forward and lift up in one smooth movement. Mm. Taking your balance hold, whatever that might be, but your right knee is going to move out to the right side. Mm. Good, and then releasing back to centre. Oh, nice work. Take the arms up. Good. Now we're going to come down into a squat position. If you've got a seat of the chair in front of you, that can be step back so you can reach your arms out in front to hold on to it. Otherwise, um, stay towards the front end of your mat. We're going to think about what feels best for the knees here. So if you turn your toes out, See if that feels easier to squat down and you can keep your heels closer to the floor and come back up. If you're starting to practice with parallel feet squatting, 
you can try that. But if that hurts your knees, then take your feet wider and turn your toes out. See how you go. Squat down so that you've got your heels as close to the floor as you can. Put your hands on the floor in front. We're going to lift right up onto the balls of the feet so that you're stretching your toes. Good. Taking the weight forward. Great. And then we're going to try and press the heels back down to the floor. Ah, reaching up onto the balls of the feet. Good. And then try pressing the heels back down. One more, lifting up onto the balls of the feet. Let your chest come forward. Look up. Good. And then heels back to the floor. And think about how you're going to sit down from here. So you might need to come back up so you can come back down. Or you might be able to just gently. Great. And then we're going to take a seat again on the back. Legs out in front. Mm. Lean back, holding the front of your knee, and make some spinal wave movements forward and back. And what we're looking for is understanding where the curves of the spine feel best, where you get that most easeful feeling. Good, so find a length and shape for your back now where the curves of the spine feel good. Chest forward and really squeeze the front core of the body to support that spinal shape. Ah, lifting the pelvic floor. Good, let go of your hands. The more you lean back, the harder the work is on the abdomen. So you can try that. But if it gets too strong, just come back to holding lightly with your hand. Because we don't want to hurt the back. So you want to find your healthy spine and then really try to use the front, the rest of the core of the body to hold that. If you really can go further here, you can try taking your heels off the floor and lifting your feet, even straightening your legs. Staying tuned into your breath. Good. <laughs> and then release. Oh, if you hold the front of your knee and lengthen your spine, it feels really good after doing that boat pose. Feeling a little bit from side to side. Great. Now we're going to take, um, I'll just turn sideways so you can see. You're going to take your leg straight out in front. Upashimotanasana. <clears throat> sit on your blanket so your sit bones are just back behind that front edge of the blanket. You get a tipping forward of the pelvis. Good. And we're going to swim. <laughs> we're going to take the right arm back and then forward towards the left-hand side of your leg or your foot and then come back up. And then the left arm swims to the outside of the right leg. Keep going side to side. Let this movement again find the skin of your spine. So that you're exploring a graceful ease to the movement of your core. You might find some tightness in your lower back. respecting <clears throat> how that feels this morning. Look for that feeling of soft, relaxed skin over your lower back. Tuned into your breathing. Good. Let's try butterfly, so both arms together. Hmm. 
Good, and the next time you reach forward, take a hold. Hands resting on your legs, on your feet or on the floor beside you, even on the floor beside your feet. So that you're reaching your spine forward as far as it goes. We don't want to compromise that easeful, soft, relaxed thing over the spine. Sometimes the tightness of the hamstrings really means that we're overstretching the lower back. So if you're really struggling, bend your leg to reach forward. So you put your hands here, behind your hips, holding your leg, holding your feet. You can always bend your legs a little bit. See if you can wiggle your spine a little bit further forward. You can even try doing that if you're quite flexible here and then try straightening your legs but keeping the spine relaxed. Breaths now. Relaxing the neck, the shoulders. And release it. Laying down. Legs bent, feet hip width parallel, arms by your side. Lift just the tailbone. So when you do that, you can feel your lower back closer to the floor. Then lift just the sacrum, and the, so the tailbone and sacrum lifting. And then one vertebra, the next vertebra. We're going to keep going nice and slowly. And just notice the pressure of the vertebra still on the floor. But as you lift each bone, notice the rest of the spine supported. You'll feel the belly hollow. Good, and we keep going nice and slow. You start to feel the thighs working, so keep your legs parallel. Squeeze the buttock muscles towards each other. As you lift higher and higher, keep lengthening the back of the neck along the floor. Mm, good, lifting the chest nice and high. The hips high and then lower down. <laughs> Go slowly again. Ah, see if you can get that feeling of each bone one at a time. Especially in places where it feels like they're all joined together. You get some movement. Good. And releasing. Now, we're going to bring the feet in closer to the sit bones and what will happen is you'll lift higher. You can squeeze your heels right in close to the sit bones, even be up onto the balls of the feet. All right, we're going to do that again. Just the tailbone and the sacrum and then bone by bone. Again, try to powerfully use your buttock muscles to squeeze them towards each other. Good, and the higher you go along the spine, then keep lengthening your neck. Mm. Good, really use your thigh muscles to lift and you might be right up onto the back of the neck now, or the top of the shoulders. Powerful legs, finding your breath. And then lower down. Bone by bone. Mm. Nice work. We're going to keep the feet close in if you can. If it's painful on your knees, then take your feet out to where it's not painful on your knees. 
All right, now what we're going to try and do this time is fit our hands in underneath the pelvis for support. So it may or may not work, depends on anatomy. All right, so we're going to lift the tailbone. We're going to lift bone by bone, enjoying that part of the journey. Strong legs, strong buttock muscles. Mm. All right, and then when you've lifted up quite high, you can even lift up onto the balls of the feet. We'll give you a little bit more height. Wiggle your elbows in to shoulder width and see if your hands fit underneath. Now, they might fit to hold the buttock muscles, but maybe you can wiggle your torso a little from side to side to put them in under the pelvis. Good, you might be able to get your feet back on the floor, so, uh, heels. Good, and we'll lengthen the back of the neck. Legs stay parallel, powerful. Good, and then releasing. Arms release, bone by bone, back down. Beautiful. Oh, nice work. We're going to hug the knees in the chest. Mm. And rocking a little bit. Take your arms out from your shoulders. So the chest feels broad. Shoulders relax. And keep the knees rocking gently from side to side. And if it feels good, let the legs go further. Maybe they go all the way towards the floor on the other side. We keep a, an awareness of the core. So that the spinal movement is supported and healthy. You have a feeling of grace and ease in your body. Mm -hmm. So take your hands on the inside of your leg and hold your feet or your ankles for happy baby pose. Ah, let your lower back really feel supported. Take your knees out as wide as you can and your toes towards the floor behind you as far as you can in that direction. Letting the belly relax. Self a smile. Breathe. Nice work, releasing your leg. If you have a moment for your own shavasana, with your legs out to straight, namaste. If, like me, you need to finish your practice, roll over to your right side. And come up to sitting. Feel the length of your spine. And bring your hands in front of your heart. Take the feeling of this. Namaste.